Lambda's powers are evolving at an accelerated rate. His Nova monsters may have already begun wreaking havoc on Aphenia. We must proceed with all haste. Pardon me, Emerod, but what exactly defines a Nova monster? Ferocious abominations created by Lambda, the ones responsible for laying waste to this world. Those with red eyes are especially powerful. Those must be... Yes. The monsters that attacked us at Lant. And at those ruins in the snow. They came from the cocoon. Which means there can be no doubt that King Richard has been infected by Lambda. <sighs> Asbel, we stand on the brink of the most perilous battle of our lives. Sir? Thanks to Pascal, I now wield the same power as you do. But if I hope to be of assistance, I need you to show me that power. You want to see my power... in action? Now that I think about it, we haven't sparred one-on-one -on -one since I was a student in training. This is not training, and I will hold nothing back. This time will be for real. I completely understand, sir. I... I vowed to become stronger so I could protect everyone. Then let me see that resolve reflected in your steel. So the day I lose to a student has finally come. Sir. You know, Asbel, I'll be completely frank with you. I left Fendel behind because I didn't believe in the power of words. That's... that's why I couldn't say anything to Kurt. Captain. I think that people who trust their own power also have faith in the power of their words. So keep talking, Asbel. Speak your vows, shout your convictions, let them ring across the land. I said this fight was for true. Now, do with me as you will. I will make this quick. Captain. Whoa, wait! Don't do it for real! So, when Pascal was talking in her sleep about someone she likes, who do you think she meant? It's obviously Sophie. I wouldn't be so sure. Young girls like Pascal can be surprisingly attracted to the bossy and overbearing type. I'm surprised you didn't know that, Hubert. Ugh, such speculation is nothing but a waste of time. Well, then why not ask Pascal directly? Well, why me? Please, Hubert. I've been wondering about this myself. Do it as a favor to me. Well, all right. If it's that important to you, I'll go ask her. But I can't guarantee anything. Hubert sure has a soft spot for Asbel. 
Yeah, it's easy to forget, but I guess Asbel can be an older brother. Huh? What? Are the repairs complete, Sai? Wonderful. Then could you please attach this to the shuttle? Wait! Oh, wait! Let me help! Preparations are nearly complete. And my dearest bit looks awesome! I'm just saying. Sophie? What is it? You're not sick, are you? I know I keep nagging, but you have to be careful. What's on your mind? I was just remembering everything we've been through together. I guess we have been through a lot, huh? Yeah, we sure have. But that's kind of an odd thing to think right now. Are you sure everything's okay? Yes, of course. We're all set here! You may depart for Athenia whenever you like. And even better, we don't need that stupid launch ramp! We can just take off and set her down wherever there's enough space! Emerod, I don't know how to thank you. Actually, I would like to make a request. As a Fodrin survivor, it is my duty to ensure that Lambda is brought to justice for his deeds. With that in mind, would you allow me to accompany you to Athenia? I will do whatever I can to assist you on your journey. I am sure my skills and knowledge will prove useful to you. Please, I beg of you. Yes, of course. We'd be thrilled to have you. Your knowledge of this situation is bound to come in handy. You are too kind. I am going to Athenia with these nice people, Sai. Please keep an eye on things while I am gone. No matter what happens, we have to stop Lambda. And Richard. Richard, you used to long for a world without conflict. And yet your actions seek to destroy it. Is Lambda controlling you? Or are you acting on your own free will? And if so, what course of action will I have to take? I believe in Richard, and I believe that he can be saved. I believe it because I must. All right, let's get out of here. 
It's time to go home. To Athenia.
Fenia's atmosphere. There it is, the cocoon. Pascal, do it. Roger that. There is Vince. the smoothest landing in the world. At least we're here. Hey, I'm just glad my Daris bit worked. So this is the inside of Lambda's cocoon. What is it, Sophie? I can sense him. Far below us. Shall we move onward? Hold on. I want to check something real quick. Whew. Okay. The shuttle still works. Just wanted to make sure in case we need to bolt out of here. This cocoon provides Lambda with a place to reconstruct his body without any outside interference. We are sure to encounter many dangerous monsters that have hatched from Lambda himself. So the ones outside the cocoon were just a warm-up. It makes no difference what terrors may lie in wait for us. We cannot afford to let our world go the way of Fodra. We must stop Lambda at all costs. All right, let's get going. Sophie, can you sense Lambda nearby? Yes. It feels like... Protos Haste is capable of receiving the unique signals that emanate from Lambda. As long as he remains alive, this function stays intact. Wow. So does that mean you always know where he is? No. I can't really... It is not capable of isolating Lambda's position. The signals emanate from Lambda in a concentric manner. This makes it possible to calculate a rough distance, but not to isolate the point of emission. So what you're saying is, it's not possible for her to actually know where... I've made myself clear. We can't talk. Uh... <laughs>
This place is truly astonishing. Just look at the abundance of life that exists here. Lambda has evolved beyond my wildest dreams. If I could somehow manipulate all of this creative energy, I might be able to restore life to Fodra. In that case, It seems that Lambda's preparations are nearly complete. Then we must hurry. Hubert, may I have a word? Of course. My imagination may be running away with me, but something doesn't feel right about that one. I concur. You and I need to make sure to keep a close eye on our friend. But it may be difficult when we're constantly fending off all these monsters. It may not be safe to start asking questions here on the spot. Let's keep watching and see how things develop. Agreed. My brother and the others suspect nothing, and I see no reason to trouble them. They're focused on rescuing King Richard right now. We'll let them concentrate on that. This looks like something from the Amarcian ruins. What's it doing here? Could this be Lambda's doing? Almost certainly. Such terrible power. The cocoon must have absorbed everything on the island in the process of its formation. We can't let this continue. We need to find a way to stop this. You are right to worry. If Lambda reaches the planet's core, that will be the end of everything. So we should really start moving. Please, Richard. Stay safe until we arrive. What's this? It's like it's alive. It isn't like it's alive. It is alive. The stimulus generated from touching these cells can cause the ones over there to expand or contract. Huh. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Pascal. I only know from watching my big sister's research. I don't know much about biology myself. But if we touch all this stuff, things could get interesting. So let's get to poking.
I can tell that Lambda is very close now. Our enemy is almost upon us. Is everyone ready to proceed? Save King Richard, Asbel. Yes, sir. Wait a minute, Asbel. Before we proceed, I need to tell you something. What is it? I... I will save Richard. No matter what. You got it, Sophie. I'm counting on you. Sharia, Pascal, thank you for accompanying me on my mission. Oh, aren't you cute? Now how about a touch? It's been so long. So good! I'm gonna lose it here! You still wanted to touch Sophie? After all this time? Pascal, I'll do everything I can to stop him. Huh? Sharia, I will eradicate Lambda. I promise. Right! With all of us working together, Lambda doesn't stand a chance. Yes. much bigger than I imagined. Look! <gasps> Is it Lambda? Are you Richard or not? Don't be fooled by what you see. That creature is Lambda. I'm impressed you were able to make it this far. However... Nothing in this world can stop me now. I'm afraid that your journey ends right here! Wait! You have to listen to me! Richard, stop! Please listen! <laughs> the weapon is here and now! Strong, die! Incineration wave!
Richard! Is that... Lambda's true form? Is it trying to become human? It's time. I must destroy him. It is... my duty. Enough, Protos Hase. Why are you doing this? I cannot permit your mutual destruction function to be used on Lambda. Mutual? So for Sophie to destroy Lambda, she has to blow herself up? Sophie, no. <laughs> Sophie, you okay? Why? Why are you doing this? I'm to annihilate Lambda by sacrificing my very own life. You're the one who gave me that functionality. Is what she said true, Emerald? Yes, it is true. Protos Haste was designed to destroy both Lambda and itself. No. But that is no longer necessary. Because... Lambda now has evolved into something far too precious to destroy. <laughs> Come, Lambda! Holy cow! Did she actually just absorb Lambda? Ugh. <gasps> Such amazing power! With my vast knowledge and Lambda's life-creating abilities, we will bring new hope to Fodra. The new life forms that we birth will be vastly superior to any that exist in all of creation. I suppose that I should thank you for the small part you played in helping me realize my grand objective. Your noble sacrifices shall be recorded in the annals of Fodra's new history! Wait, so this whole time you were just using us to get Lambda's power and the Eleth from our Valkanus? Your powers of deduction are truly worthy of the Amarsian name. As a citizen of Fodra, it is my given right to use these Eleth any way that I see fit. Aphenia is a satellite, and as such, it should serve our people. Someday, our people will tell stories of your planet, of how you sacrificed all to save Fodra. And I, I will be the beautiful heroine of this tale. I will become the goddess who shapes and spins the story, yet I shall also be the story. Lambda, Ephinia, Bodra, all shall bend at the knee to my divine will! <laughs> And you are the nameless bit players. No, Emerald, because we will stop you. 
If you prefer to exit on the stage here, then witness my mercy! Can't be screwing around this time! Ha! Go, go, go! No mercy! Down, down! Ha! No Emerald. There's not a scratch on her. But how? Could it be that this is yet another gift from the power of Lambda? <laughs> Such wonderful power. Rejoice, Lambda, for I shall take you home again. I shall take you back to Fodra. Yes, we shall create a new world worthy of a goddess. You are nothing but a fool. That voice. You could never control my power. What? <laughs> Impossible! This cannot be! <laughs> What's happening to her? He's rejecting her. Something's still there. It's the boy we saw in the lab. Lambda. Richard? Lambda. I'm right here. Come to me, Lambda. Let us go to our place of peace. Richard, no, don't! Team. 
is opening the path to the Lestalia. trying to do if you destroy lambda you'll also destroy yourself you'll die sophie that's my purpose you exist only to destroy lambda you exist just to die don't say that sophie it's it's just too sad sad are you saying it doesn't make you sad to have your life decided for you like that it's okay to live your own life you know Sad. I don't really know what that feels like. I'm not human. I was born only to carry out this mission. It's my purpose to die by destroying Lambda. No! No! That's the most ridiculous damn thing I've ever heard! Why did you have to remember something like that? Why couldn't it have just stayed forgotten? As long as Lambda exists, our world will never be safe. Sophie was our best hope to stop him, but now, now I don't know what should be done. There has to be a way to destroy him. Something that won't kill you, too. Yeah, come on. There's just gotta be something else. I am the only one who can destroy him. Well, maybe we just haven't tried hard enough. You don't understand. None of you can destroy him. This is the only way. You're the one who doesn't understand. You think sacrificing yourself will solve everything? Well, it won't! It won't solve a thing! I wish I could make you see that! But you're so eager to be a martyr that you've stopped listening to your friends! I... I'm doing what must be done. So please, don't interfere. Interfere? Damn you, Sophie! Asbel... I... Listen to me. We are not giving up, no matter what happens. Let's return to Lot for the time being. New surroundings will clear our heads and help us plan the next move. That's a good idea. Okay, let's get moving. 